This is the next question we have. It says the major product or products obtained in the following reaction is R. We have the reaction where we have potassium tersibutoxide and then reductive ozonolysis. Let's solve this question. Here we are using potassium tersibutoxide. So, elimination takes place, more stable alkene will be formed here. This alkene will have conjugation. Now, on reductive ozonolysis, the bonds will break from here and two different aldehydes will be formed. So, CHO, CHO that is glyoxyl will be formed plus 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four carbons. We can name it as butane 1, 4 diol. Let us go through the options to find the right answer. We can see here this is butane 1, 4 diol and this is glyoxyl or ethane 1, 2 diol. So, the correct answer is given in option 1. Hence, the right answer for this question will be option 1. Now, let us move to the next question. This is the next question we have. It says which of the following statements is not true about RNA. The first statement says it usually does not replicate. Second statement says it is present in the nucleus of the cell. Third statement says it controls the synthesis of protein. And fourth statement says it has always double standard alpha helix structure. Students, if I talk about first three statements, these are correct. But if I talk about the fourth statement, RNA has single standard structure. On the other hand, DNA has the double standard structure. So, this is a wrong statement. Hence, the correct answer for the given question is option 4. Now, let us move to the next question. This is the next question we have. It says the complex ion that will lose its crystal field stabilization energy upon oxidation of its metal to plus 3 oxidation status. Here we need to ignore the pairing energy. That means we have to consider the ligand is strong field ligand. So, students the options are here we can see four options. So, let us write the configuration in all these cases. First of all we have Ni2 plus. Ni2 plus has D8 configuration. So, D8 configuration means it will have T2G 6 Eg 2. Now, if it oxidizes to Ni3 plus, it will have D7 configuration, which is T2G 6 Eg 1. The second option is CO2 plus. CO2 plus, it will have D7 configuration, which is T2G6 EG1. Now, if it oxidizes to CO3 plus, it will have D6 configuration, which is T2G6 EG0. Third case is zinc. Zinc has configuration D10. Zn2 plus D10. So, it is T2G6 EG4 and when it is oxidized, it will give us Zn3 plus, it will have D9 configuration. So, the configuration will be T2G6 EG3. Now, the last option is given here is Fe2 plus. Fe2 plus has D6 configuration. So, it is T2G6. 
and Ag0. If it oxidizes to Fe3+, plus, it will have D5 configuration. So, it is T2G5 Eg0. Now, out of the given option, only in option 4 that is Fe2+, plus, we are losing electron from T2G orbital. Therefore, in this case only we are losing the stabilization energy. So, the correct answer for this question will be option 4 which is a complex of iron. Now, let us move to the next question.